Let's start off by making a floor. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this and make a slip knot. Now you got a slip knot, insert your hook into the loop and then adjust the tension of the loop. Then yarn over and pull through the loop and you got a chain. For row 1 you have to make a total of 16 chains. Yarn over and pull through and you got a chain. Keep repeating this until you get a total of 16 chains. So now I got a total of 16 chains. Now skip the first chain and then insert your hook into the second chain. And then pull the yarn. Pull through the chain. Yarn over and pull through two loops and you got one single crochet. According to the pattern of row, row 1, you have to make a total of 15 single crochets so keep making a single crochet each in each chain and you will get like this to start a new row chain one and turn your walk and for row two also make make a single crochet in each stitch so insert your hook into the stitch like this and then pull the yarn and then make a single crochet Repeat making single crochet each stitch until you reach the end. When you reach the last stitch, single crochet like this and you complete the second row. To start a new row, always chain 1 and turn your walk. From row 3 to 15, make single crochet each stitch and you will get a total of 15 single crochets in each row. You will get like this after 15 rows. I will show you how to count the rows. I flip the back side and here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 15. So now the floor has the 15 rows and I will end making this. To end it, make a single crochet in the last stitch and then leave a long tool for sewing and pull up the yarn like this. So, the part for making the floor is finished. For the walls, chain 13 and skip the first chain, then single crochet 12. After that, from row 2 to 15, make single crochet each stitch. And you will get like this after row 15. So now I will show you how to make the row 16 pattern. Insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch and make a single crochet here. Insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch and make a single crochet. So what you have to do is make back loop only single crochet each stitch for row 16 and you will get a total of 12 single crochets. I moved faster on the rows of row 1 to 15 because those rows are similar to the rows of the floor that you made and after row 16 repeat making single crochet each stitch from row 17 to 31 and don't forget to chain one and turn your walk whenever you start a new row when you finished row 31 make a back loop only single crochet row like this and then after that make more 15 rows of single crochet each stitch and then after that make a back loop only single crochet row then after that make 15 rows of single crochet each stitch row and you will get a total of four walls and if you repeat them correctly the front loops of the back loop rows will be on one side and after that i will show you how to add the triangle thing on the wall Make a slip knot and attach the yarn on the wall near the back loop only row and then chain one and 
insert your hook into the first stitch pull the yarn then insert your hook into the next stitch and pull the yarn and yarn over and pull through all three loops and you made a decrease stitch after that single crochet 10 times make a single crochet on one row like this make 10 single crochets and then after that make a decrease stitch for the decrease stitch insert your hook pull the yarn then insert your hook into the next stitch and pull the yarn and after that pull through all three loops after that chain one and turn your walk and for this triangle then you will have to repeat making decreases on the first and the last stitches but for the middle stitches single crochet each stitch repeat making decreasing on the first and last stitches and making single crochets in the middle stitches until you get only four stitches left here when you reach the last two stitches make a decrease stitch don't forget to chain one and turn your walk to start a new row so now I only got four stitches left so make decreases two times then after that chain one and turn your walk there are still two stitches so make a decrease and after that chain one and leave a long tail for sewing you will have to make this triangle for two times in total for another triangle repeat the same thing like this but make sure that those triangles must be one wall apart like this there must be a wall between them for the roof chain 17 skip one stitch and then single crochet 16 times then from row 2 to 12 single crochet each stitch for row 13 back loop only single crochet for 16 times and then from row 14 to 24 make single crochet each stitch and now single crochet each stitch all around the roof the roof pattern is similar to the pattern of the wall so i move on faster two single crochet all around the roof make one single crochet on one row or maybe make one single crochet in each cup but when you reach the corners make two single crochet in them so now I reach the corner and I will make two single crochet in the same stitch after that I will repeat making single crochet in each stitch so now I reach the starting point so when you reach the starting point make a slip stitch I will show you how to make the slip stitch insert your hook pull the yarn and pull through the loop then after that chain one and cut the yarn don't forget to weave in the ends to hide the yarn use the smaller hook and hide it on the wrong side of the roof for the door chain eight skip the first stitch and then single crochet seven times for row 2 and 3, single crochet 7, don't forget to chain 1 and turn your walk at the beginning of the row. Then after that, single crochet all around the door like you single crochet all around the roof. And now I am adding the detail of the door. I am embroidering a little hard on the door. Now sew the door on the house. Sewing is not my thing so I try to show you the way I sew it as clear as possible. You can use any kinds of method you want. Don't forget to secure the yarn after sewing. This is how I secure the yarn. I crochet two chains 
and then I pull up the yarn then I hide the yarn inside the door in case if you want to know why my house is a little bit sturdy I use fold and silicone glue and then I stick onto my house like this but don't worry about it too much because when you put things inside your house will become a little bit sturdier now I will show you how to add the window at first I added the window just beside the door but later I hate it and I just removed the window on the side wall of the house but you can add anywhere you want Now I will show you how to sew the floor and the house together. You can use any kinds of sewing ways you want, but make sure to sew them on the wrong side. What the wrong side means is that the door attached to that side is not the wrong side anymore, it's the right side. So make sure that you are sewing on the wrong side. After sewing the floor, don't forget to sew the walls of the house. When you finish sewing, turn the house inside out and you will get like this. Now I will show you how I sew the roof. I will sew only the half of the roof because for the other half I will just leave it and it will become the lid of the house box. If you don't understand what I was talking, then start sewing from the top of the house and stop when you reach another top of the house. So start sewing from the first triangle and stop when you reach the top of the second triangle. I will stop sewing these three sides and I will leave it so the half of the roof, the other half of the roof will become the lid. And don't forget to weave in the ends and now you got a tiny house not tiny a small house but it's the box and now I will add more accessories for this now let's make the bushes make a slip knot and then insert your hook into the loop then chain three one two and three then after that skip first stitch and then make a single crochet in the second stitch and then make a single crochet into the third chain so now you finished row one to start row two chain five four five and then turn your walk and this is the first single crochet that we will work on. To start row 2, yarn over 3 times. And then insert your hook into the first single crochet. Pull the yarn. Yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2. And then yarn over and pull through 2. So you will get 2 loops on your hook. Then again, yarn over 3 times, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull the yarn, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2, and yarn over and pull through 2. You got 
three loops on your hook now then once again yarn over three times and then insert your hook into the same stitch and then pull through the loops for three times and now you got four loops on your hook so yarn over and pull through all four loops into the next stitch you have to repeat this pattern again yarn over three times and then insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull through the two loops for three times and you will have to repeat this stitch until you get four loops on your hook so now I repeat the stitch for one time and then yarn over three times again insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over and pull through the two loops for three times and now you got three loops on your hook then yarn over three times again and then insert your hook into the same stitch then pull through the two loops for three times and now you got four loops on your hook so yarn over and pull through all four loops so now you finished making one big bobo stitch and then to make another big bubble stitch you will have to chain one and turn your walk and you will have to make row three for row three make single crochet in the first stitch and the second single crochet into the second stitch and then after that you chain five and turn your walk and repeat the pattern of row two and you will get a second bobo stitch. So you will have to repeat making row 3 and 2 to get one big bobo stitch. And I repeat those rows until, you, until I get 10 bobo stitches. But you can repeat these rows until your bobo strap can wrap around your house leaving a small space for the door when you finished making the bobo stitch chain one and cut the yarn leave a long tail for sewing and sew that bobo strap on your house like this so now I will sew the bobo strap on the house like this, leaving a small space for the door. I don't really know how to sew it. For me, I just sew the middle between the two bobos. I sew those middle parts on the house, but I don't sew the bobos. I just leave them. But you can use any kind of sewing ways you want. Now I will show you how to make a mini bear. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this to make a magic ring and then pull the second loop to the front and twist it. Then after that chain one, remove the ring from your fingers and make six single crochet into the magic ring. You can skip this part if you don't want to add the bear. I will just want to add this bear just to let you know that this house is this bear's house but you can add this part if you don't want after six single crochets pull the tail and the ring will be closed for round two you will have to increase each stitch for six times that means you will have to make two single crochet in each stitch to make two single crochet insert your hook into the first stitch make a single crochet then insert your hook into that stitch again and make the second single crochet and you get an increased stitch. If you don't use the stitch marker, make two single crochet in each stitch until you get a total of 12 stitches. So now let's add the ear for the bear. Single crochet in the next stitch. 
Then make a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull the yarn, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops, and you get one double crochet. And then make the second double crochet into the same stitch, and you got one mini ear. Then make a slip stitch for two times. One. And then two. After two slip stitches, make the ear again. Make two double crochet and one single crochet in the next stitch. When you finished making the ear single crochet eight times and then after eight single crochets make a slip stitch in the next stitch. So now after eight single crochet make a slip stitch into the next stitch and then leave a long tail for sewing. Now I will show you how to add the details on the bear's face. Use a thin black thread and the darning needle to add the details of the bear. For the mini roses, I use really thin yarn with 1.5mm hook, but you can still use the same yarn and the same, same size hook, but your roses will be not as small as mine. So to make those, make single crochet 5 times in a magic ring and then pull the tail, then cut the yarn and then tie the two tails together and after that stick on the bush using the silicone glue or maybe hot glue again. For the small heart, please check my bear pouch tutorial. So now the mini house crochet tutorial is finished. You can put any small things inside and you can even put your stitch markers and earrings on the roof. I know that my tutorial may be a little bit or maybe even really faster for you guys. So if you have a hard time making this, please ask me anytime on social media. And if you enjoyed the tutorial, please don't forget to like this video and also click on the subscribe button. I really appreciate your support for me and I will keep trying hard. With that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!